Once upon a time, in the small West African nation of Gambia, a sense of hope and excitement filled the air. The year was 1960, and the country was on the brink of independence from British colonial rule. The Gambian people eagerly awaited the dawn of a new era, where they would determine their own destiny. In the early days of 1960, the political landscape of Gambia was evolving. A young, charismatic leader named Dada Jawara emerged as a prominent figure, advocating for independence and promising a brighter future for all Gambians. He believed in the power of unity and inclusivity, emphasizing that the strength of the nation lay in its diversity on February 18, 1965. Gambia finally gained its independence Dada Jawara became the nation's first prime minister and later its president. The Gambian people rejoiced, their dreams of self-governance finally realized. With independence came a surge of enthusiasm and determination to build a prosperous and inclusive nation Gambia faced. Many challenges in its early years as an independent nation. The economy was underdeveloped, and the country had limited resources. However, the Gambian people were resilient and determined to overcome these obstacles. They embarked on a journey of nation-building, focusing on education, agriculture, and infrastructure development. Education became a key priority for the new government. Schools were established across the country, providing access to quality education for all Gambian children. The government also invested in scholarships and grants to support higher education, empowering young Gambians to pursue their dreams and contribute to the nation's progress agriculture played a vital role in Gambia's economy. The fertile land and abundant water resources provided opportunities for the cultivation of crops such as rice, peanuts, and vegetables. The government implemented agricultural policies and programs to enhance productivity and ensure food security for the population. Farmers were supported with training, modern farming techniques, and access to credit facilities. Infrastructure development was another crucial aspect of Gambia's growth. Roads, bridges, and ports were constructed, connecting previously. Isolated regions and facilitating trade and commerce. Investments were made in healthcare facilities, ensuring that the Gambian people had access to quality medical services. The government also focused on expanding access to clean water and electricity, improving the standard of living for its citizens. As the years passed, Gambia made steady progress, the nation became known for its commitment to democracy, human rights and social development. The Gambian people actively participated in the democratic process. Electing their leaders through free and fair elections however, like any nation Gambia faced its share of challenges political tensions. Economic fluctuations and environmental concerns tested the resilience of its people et, time and again. The spirit of unity prevailed, and the Gambian people rallied together to overcome these challenges. Today, as we reflect on Gambia's journey from 1960 to the present day, we see a nation that has come a long way. It is a testament to the resilience, determination, and unwavering spirit of its people. Gambia continues to strive for progress, building on the foundations laid by the generations that came before. The story of Gambia's independence and subsequent development serves as an inspiration not only to its citizens but also to the world, reminding us of the power of unity, perseverance, and the pursuit of a brighter future for all. Don't forget to subscribe to Gambian Mimi.